morning everybody. So today we're going to try something new. Um, it's actually a breakfast from the Great Depression and it's called cornmeal mush. So we like cornbread so I thought how bad can this be? So we're going to try it and see. I found several different recipes and each one kind of varied from the other so it was probably because it just really depended on like what they had on hand. So one recipe I found called for three cups of boiling water and one cup of cornmeal and another one called for four cups of boiling water and one cup of cornmeal and then of course all the different ones they had different um, things that they would put on them some of them it was just salt some it was brown sugar um, I saw honey molasses um, like uh, maple syrup so there was a lot of different variations of this so like I said, i'm guessing it was because it was whatever they had on hand but since we do eat cornbread i thought well let's try it and see how it tastes i'm assuming it's probably going to be just from like the pictures and stuff that i saw it looked like maybe grits or um malta meal like it looked like the same kind of texture as those so right now I've got three cups of water boiling, or getting uh, warming up to boil, and then I also have my tea kettle going just in case the four cups of water is better, because like I said, there was two different ones. One had four cups of water, one had three cups of water, but they both had one cup of cornmeal. So um, I guess it probably just depends on how thick maybe you like it. So I do have the tea kettle going for the water to be warm in case I uh, need to add more water to it. So we're gonna um, get cooking on this, but I'm gonna wait until the water boils. So as soon as the water boils, we'll be back and we'll make this together. Okay, so the three cups of water is boiling. We're gonna do one cup of cornmeal. And if you saw my video on cornbread, I make my cornmeal in batches so that I always have it on hand because we do eat quite a bit of cornbread. So I'm going to turn this down. I'm, I'm basically going to use the same concept or cooking method as I do for grits or malta meal. So. Just put it in real slow and keep whisking it because you don't want it to be all lumpy. You know how when you make grits or malta meal, if you just dump it in there too fast, you have clumps of uncooked or dried, dried cereal in there. I don't think, well, I don't know. I might need another cup of water. Maybe. Let's see. Because it's already getting... <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. So it's already like super, super thick. But I don't think I need to add another cup of water. It's the same consistency as malto meal. All right, I'm gonna, whew, that was hot. I'm gonna turn that off. Just like Malta meal. Alright, I'm going to get this served up. We're going to try the different um, ways that they had it with the different toppings. And I have hot water in case it does get really, really thick. And we'll see what it tastes like. Okay. So, let's get out. Spoons. 
Okay, so this looks like malto meal. This even smells like malto meal. I'm starting to wonder if this is how you make malto meal. We will find out. Okay, so we have, you know, come in here and taste this. All right, so the recipes that I found, some put maple syrup, I didn't want to open our maple syrup because we're still trying to finish mm -hmm. up this since the pantry challenge. So pancake syrup, some put brown sugar, some put honey, and then some put like molasses. So I thought we would just try, okay, so that one has honey. It's malt on meal. Is that malt on meal? Mm -hmm. It is. Well, I, we got the box of malt on meal so we could see. So you've tried it without, because, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't really have, like, access to, like, milk and a lot of butter and stuff. So they did, but it was, they were only allowed, like, certain amounts per week. So Rashing. I'm trying to go off of, I think I sealed this jar. <laughs> So you tasted it with nothing on it, mm -hmm. and you said it tastes like malto meal. It's, it's identical. Okay, so try the one with brown sugar. That is malto meal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, switch. Brown sugar. The brown sugar, huh? Mm. Okay, so I got the box of malt meal. What do the ingredients say? I burnt my finger. Wheat, farina, malted barley. So, and this is made with cornmeal. But it tastes identical. It's, it's, it's there. So, like, would you call this like a copycat malto meal? <laughs> the only thing is, is you're doing it with corn, ground corn, or cornmeal, then you are... Which, yeah, copycat. But is it a, the original? The original malto meal? Mm-hmm. I guess it could be. When did malto meal come out? I have no idea. no idea. All right, well, there you have it. It's called um, cornmeal mush. It was a breakfast they made. <laughs> You're actually going to eat more, huh? Um, you want the butter? Mm -mm. No? Um, this is what they ate during the Great Depression for breakfast, and it's, uh, here, just do it. It's, tastes just like malto meal, so if you like malto meal, then you will like, you will like this. Um, now, we do have access to chicken eggs, so if, you know, if we get tired of this, we could always eat chicken eggs. That's not a big deal, but, uh, so, yeah, wow, that was, that was a surprise. I, I don't know, I was, like, kind of hesitant thinking, I don't know how well this is going to taste, but no, it tastes exactly like malto meal, and it's called cornmeal mush. It was three cups of water, one cup of cornmeal, remember, you can make your own cornmeal, and... If you don't want it as thick, you can just add a little bit more water, unless you do have milk on hand, or a powdered milk, or evaporated milk. Ooh, evaporated milk, like a condensed sweet milk. That would be good. Um, you can add that in there. So, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, remember, every day is a new beginning, and you all stay blessed.